Hello, Randy Rain here, and I have another Radio Shack little toy here. This is the Wheelie Bug. It comes in its original box, original instructions, which is all of one thing here. Little pieces. And the Wheelie Bug right here. Check that out find out what all of this does. Anyway, let's look inside this thing and get it working. Well, I'm not sure where it came from, but some little black pieces of plastic here came out when I opened this up. You'll notice that the front wheels, they don't steer. They just spin. And you have this little thing here. Not sure what's going on. That one's like it's turning some gears. That one's not doing anything. Ah, there's damage. What is that screw doing? Why can I see yellow in that screw? Oh, well, let's get it open. Yeah, look at that. Jeez. Yeah, that screw wasn't doing anything. Yeah, so there's where all the shattered plastic came from. Looks like this can come off. Need to go ahead and take all this apart to get down to there. And I can see right now that there's little split gears on the motor. But this should take the weights off. Okay, I have big chunks of plastic that I can get most of it back. Okay, that is just rotting away. Never mind on that. Look at that. It just crumbled into everything. Okay, that that's no good. No good on that. Alright, this is black iron oxide. So it's basically black rust. This is baking soda. And I'm sure most of you know that baking soda and super glue combine to make this little paste that's kind of strong. Still pretty brittle. But of course, if you, it's going to be white because of the baking soda. So I add some black iron oxide and it'll be black. Let's see if I can get some light to shine on this black piece. But if you look right here, maybe you can see that. It's melted. It's some of that plastic that's melted. That's where the cord, the, the wire cable was touching. Alright, I was going to use foil, but I changed my mind. I'm going to use saran wrap and clay. Now I'm going to use some thicker CA glue. Put some, some of my powder mixture. Alright, now let's go for broke and put some of this extra thin stuff on it. Go ahead and hit it with some accelerator. Turned white. Didn't turn white until I sprayed the accelerator on it, but it's all right. I can sand it now. I wonder if I can fill in just a little bit more right through here. Go with the thin stuff.
Okay, same thing here. Got some clay with some saran wrap. Just going to cover it all up. I can drill a hole later. I believe that will work. Now to finish it off, how about a black sharpie? As close to good as new as you're going to get. So now it's time to work on this thing and I can see here, I can see that that gear isn't even connected. So I'm sure it's flat. Yeah. It's a split. Of course, it's an eight tooth gear. And this one is actually still connected, but I'm guessing it's split as well. Comes off real easy. Of course it is. I've been adding to my gear collection. If you go to eBay, there's people who will sell just like a bunch thrown together. So all different sizes. And so I buy a few of those. You got your big ones, those are some smaller ones, smaller ones, some specialty ones, crown gears, that's the eight tooth that I'm looking for. You also get cassette belts, ten tooth gears, that looks like twelve tooth gears, fourteen tooth maybe, those are nine tooth, because you get pulleys. You get some sm smaller gears there. I think those are 10. You even get some bar gears. But what I need is here, and I have several different ones with different size shafts on it. So I need the one with the bigger shaft. These two right there. Now I just need to see if this works, but first let's see what's inside of it. Yeah, this thing looks unused. Oh, hello. So we're forward and backwards here. This one's going to turn both of them forward. This will turn both of them backwards. This one's only going to turn one on. Maybe turn the other one the opposite way. Clever. But hold up. If I spin this one around, look right there. You see it? Same thing here. Of course, I just thought I was going to get off easy on this one. Now this gear probably would have been all right for a while. Now back to my bag of gears. I bet you I can find one in here that's a fit. Like that one right there. Have another one of those? I do. That's the original. Here's my replacements. I was hoping I found one with the right size bore 
on it, but I, I didn't. Alright, let's give it a go. See what the motor does. The motor is interesting. Okay, so if I push forward and then left and right just turns one off. Same thing with backwards. When you hear the horn, help is on the way. Ooh, we got some breakage here, too. Just realize that. These dim weights slide out. It's a pain in the butt. So I'm fixing that. There, they're not falling out now. Here's my remake sign. There you go. Works like a charm. So there you have it. Found a funny schlep car, added a magic horn, and I got wheelie bug. If you know what I'm referring to, then leave a comment down below. The first one to do it, I will pin it and show everybody how old you are. But you want to see this in action, and I've been playing with it, so... Here we go. toy for the age. I mean, I'm sure kids had a lot of fun playing with this thing, and now it works perfectly. So, if you enjoyed this video, I sure would appreciate a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe. You know all this stuff. Anyway, I want to thank these people right here. These are patrons. These are people helping me out. Couldn't get the old wheelie bug going without those people. So, if you want to help out, there are perks. Check the link below. Anyway, Thanks for watching. When you hear the horn, help is on the way. So clap your fans. What do you say? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful.